welcome everyone March is here welcome to the channel once more and finally I have my hands on my Kyrie 7 I've been really having experiencing bad luck with my shoe deliveries recently my Dame 7 if you watched the previous video has been delayed for a month and this one has been delayed for two weeks so let me rant about it for a while because this actually just came locally and I think the company where I ordered this had some blundered because my friend who actually ordered it just last week, almost end of last week, got his pair last Monday. You serious? I ordered mine two weeks ago. I actually thought I have to understand there was a typhoon, but my friend actually ordered it during the typhoon. It wasn't the reason at all. I think they just misplaced my order because I saw in the invoice that it was just picked up last week, end of last week for my pair. So I was kind of bummed and I was calling the shop. What really pissed me off is they really didn't know where my order is. I didn't even get an apology. The voice tone of the guy that I was talking to was kind of like it's not my problem that kind of vibe giving me that kind of vibe so i was kind of pissed off but fortunately good vibes now i got my pair i was supposed to hoop with this the other day because i was expecting it to come because i called them and that same guy gave me the excuse that it was on its way but in all reality he didn't know where my order really was and he didn't even want to share the tracking of the courier because I found out when he finally shared with me the tracking number that it was just picked up Friday last week. So that was a bummer. Hey, this is the Kyrie 7 in the Sisterhood colorway. So the first thing for the Kyrie 7 Sisterhood colorway is of course, this is a tribute for all the women who plays basketball and for all of the daughters of the basketball player and all the women out there shout out to you we salute you as you can see it's kind of similar this outsole is kind of similar to the colors in the lebron 18 sisterhood so i think that's where they got it you can also see the melon tint around the outline of the swoosh and also a melon tint on the all-seeing eye found in the heel part of the Kyrie 7 and out of the box you can really feel how lighter the Kyrie 7s are compared to the Kyrie 6 because mainly of this heel part where the Kyrie 6 have this big plastic heel cup which I think aesthetically was really nice. I really like that design. Some didn't like it but in all honesty I didn't mind it. When I was playing with the Kyrie's the fit of the Kyrie's was really nice so I didn't feel any weight around the heel but some players like their sneaker really light. Me personally I'm okay with that because I'm used to wearing LeBrons. It's not a problem with me. And the upper of the Kyrie 7 is made out of composite textile. The tech specs are written in the insole, which is quite nice. So it's a different kind of mesh or textile mesh. The Kyrie 6 has the ballistic textile, which is heavily fused. But this one has two layers. The upper is kind of honeycomb netted and it's quite thin feels fused but not heavily fused which is good if you want a light sneaker but still very supportive and when i was trying it here in my floor the upper feels very thin around your foot you can flex it easily like this and even on the medial part there's a different kind of mesh in it it's also very soft so on the lateral part where you can see this composite textile, the two materials are kind of heat welded together to produce a very thin and very supportive upper, which is good. I think it's an upgrade in terms of performance because it will make the sneaker lighter. But I really like the materials that they were using in the Kyrie 6. I had the Concept Collab, which is the Carefree colorway. I really like that. The leather on that was really nice around the heel part. Of course, the Manila colorway has the hologram, the first 11 pairs that came out. I really like the Kyrie 6 in terms of materials, but hey, if it performs better, I don't mind that at all. Tong has this regular foam back mesh. I tried tightening my laces and I didn't have any discomfort. And of course, as you can see, instead of the strap, you can see these two fingers on both sides which looks like four fingers 
wrapping around your foot. It really works. It pulls down your foot to the footbed and the Kyrie line has been known for that. Very good lockdown and very good fit around your foot. So it's kind of snug around the forefoot, very similar to the Kyrie 6. Still a mid-cut sneaker. It has a very nice shape around the heel tab to make it easier for you to wear the sneakers. It features the same cushion setup found in the Kyrie 6 and the Kyrie 5. But the main difference that I felt in the Kyrie 7, but the main difference that I found in the cushion of the Kyrie 7, I was testing it out in my right and Kyrie 6 on my left foot. Felt that the cushion, the carrying phylon, is a little bit thicker compared to the Kyrie 6. I don't know because the Kyrie 6 has been used and this hasn't, so maybe it will compress over time. But right now, the feeling is the cushion is a lot thicker compared to the Kyrie 6. There's more impact protection in the heel and in the forefoot it's kind of thicker and it's kind of higher just a bit on the forefoot but still bit but still very good court feel and responsiveness on the Kyrie 7. Hopefully it plays that way too. And moving on to the outsole of the Kyrie 7, it features a different pattern. They veered away from the all-seeing eye pattern found in the Kyrie 6 and Kyrie 5. The pattern in this is the computational traction where Nike gathered the data where pressure is found around the foot and they made it into a pattern. So maybe it's a gimmick, maybe it's not. But when I was trying it in my floor, it was gripping really nicely. And what's also nice about the Asia release is we have XDR rubber. So it's an extra durable rubber found in our local release here in Asia, which I know a lot of you from the States and in other European countries are wishing that they also have XDR rubber. I don't know why Nike didn't just make all tractions in all Kyrie's XDR and in all other sneakers so that it will last longer in courts, indoor and outdoor. But I'm, I'm very thankful that we have the XDR rubber because there's a lot of outdoor courts here and even on the wooden courts here. Sometimes it's not that A-grade courts. So we really need tractions like these. The rubber compound is really hard, especially around the middle part of the tractions. And there's still traction on the medial part for extreme crossover so that you will still have traction in that. And some other Easter egg on the Kyrie's is of course his legacy is going to live on forever. So that's a tribute to Black Mamba, Kobe Bryant. As you know, Kyrie idolizes Kobe. He looks up to him a lot. And also, there's a size tag on the heel part of the traction, which is kind of cool. And there's an all-seeing eye around the heel cushion of the sneaker to maybe not show the compression marks that much. So that's actually a nice design on the Kyrie 7s. And as for the sizing of the Kyrie 7s, go true to size. And if you have the Kyrie 6, Kyrie 5, go get the same size. And if you're a wide footer, go half a size soft. As for the price of the Sisterhood colorway, this actually has the GR release price. So it's 130 US dollars. So 6,400 plus. But the four colorways that came out after the Sisterhood colorway is $10 more expensive. So that's 500 pesos more expensive than the Sisterhood colorway. And I think the other GR release that is coming out soon is the black and white. That pair really shouts GR in my opinion, but I'm happy that this colorway is cheaper by 500. So do you dig the Kyrie 7 Do you like the improvements? Do you think it's an upgrade? So I forgot to mention that it came with this blue laces, which is quite cool. So extra laces for this colorway. And let me know what you think about this sneaker guys in the comment down below. This has been Marches once again. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.